Next question comes from Debbie. After eight years on Revlimid, lenalidomide, is my bone marrow damaged? Well, that's a very insightful question, Debbie. It's a balance when we use various therapies and treatments in myeloma, that we want to hit the myeloma, but not hit the rest of the good cells in the body. And just about every treatment we use is focused primarily to hit the myeloma, but there is some effect on the surrounding tissue and in particular the bone marrow. Thankfully, we have many of our patients on maintenance Revlimid, uh, like yourself, who've been on it for many, many years and actually have minimal negative effect to their bone marrow. Others may have some effect. So I would have to discuss this with you one-on-one -on -one around the balance between remaining on the drug to keep the disease away and the potential effect that it has on the marrow. But in general, we do see only a very small fraction of patients in whom the marrow is going to be affected so much that it'll influence their subsequent therapies.